Hey there. Making the decision between public and private is a huge decision for a parent, especially one of a child with autism. In this video, I'm going to go over the biggest differences between public and private schools and how I made the decision for my son, Shane, who has autism. The first thing you have to consider is your budget, proximity, availability, and also uh, the degree of your child's autism. Once you've considered all those things, then you're going to look a little bit more carefully at the individual things that the schools offer. Public schools are obviously the most commonly used and offer a lot of great pros. For example, in the public school setting, your child is entitled to an education that suits their needs. Therefore, many uh, public schools actually have specialized classrooms for children with autism or other disabilities. They also have um, an array of support that they can bring into the classroom. The thing is, is that you have to know exactly what your child's needs are and will they be met in that sort of classroom. Public schools are also required to provide your child with autism with an IEP. That's an individual education plan. That's them sitting down with you and ed other educators within the school, figuring out exactly the needs that your child has and how they can meet them. Public school also offers the opportunity for your child to interact with different people from all sorts of different backgrounds, including kids both on and off the spectrum. Whereas if you send your child to a specialized school, then they may only interact with kids who have additional needs. And of course, the last but the biggest pro for public school is that it's free. You may have to buy paper or pencils for your kid, but in terms of any of the special education that they're going to get, whatever the school offers you, it will be free and it will be included in the curriculum. Now for the cons of public school. Public schools are known for having some pretty good autism programs. However, they are very specific to what they can and cannot offer based on their curriculum, but also based on their budget. So if you have a child with autism who is a little bit different, which is often the case, and they have additional needs, maybe they have um, issues with sight or they have developmental issues on top of their autism, their needs may not fit into the standardized program that this public school is offering. And because they have limitations, they may not be able to alter it for what you need. In addition to that, public schools are known for having huge class sizes, and it's pretty well known that autistic children do better with the uh, more one-on-one -on -one or smaller class size. Because of that, your child's needs may not be met in that public school setting. Lack of training for staff. It's a huge issue in the public school environment, and even more so when it comes to kids with special needs. Your child's teacher in a public school setting may not be able to give them what they need because they lack the training and the school cannot afford to give it to them because it's a public school. It's just what it is. So you have to consider the training of the staff and how they're going to be using that training to interact with your child. Something that is a major concern for many, many parents who send their kids to public school is poor oversight on the teacher's behalf and bullying from other kids. Kids can just be mean. And if your child is the only child in the class that may be a little bit different due to their autism, they can often get bullied. And when a teacher has a class full of 20 kids and only one or two that needs a little bit more attention, they may not have the time or the energy to give that and things can be happening and your kid can be getting bullied and the teacher may not even see the severity of the situation until it's too late. On to the pros of private schools. Private schools have more money, which means they are more specialized. If you're sending your child to a private school that specializes in autism or developmental delays, every staff member is going to be trained on how to work with your child. From the behavior technicians, to the teachers, to the teacher's aide, and so forth and so on. Knowing that your child is with people who understand them all the time can be incredibly comforting for a parent. Services, services, services. Every child with autism needs services. And when you send your child to a private school, they have those services available and you as a parent do not have to constantly lobby and ask and beg for them to get the speech therapy or to get the OT that they need. The services are there, the school is designed around those services. Staff to student ratios in the private school sector the ratio is a lot smaller for the amount of kids versus the amount of staff. In general, you're looking at maybe 10 to 12 kids in a specialized private school. And compared to like 20 something in a public school, that's a huge difference. In my son's school, for example, they have 12 kids, two educators in the class, plus additional support that comes in depending on the needs of the classroom. That makes a huge difference. And you know that your kid is getting more attention, possibly the attention they need to thrive. The chances of bullying is significantly reduced in a private school, specialized private school setting. The reason is, is because there are more teachers and less students and everybody in that classroom has a little bit of a difference. So because of that, 
no one's really going to pick on you as much at least because you jump up and down and hum because there's probably other kids in the class that jump up and down and hum. When you enroll your child in private school, you have more options. Your child can go to any school they want because it's private and you don't have to choose your school based on where you live. The cons of private school. Number one, the price tag. It is insane the cost that private school is. You know, I've seen anywhere from ten to $40,000 for kindergarten and grade one. That is a price tag that a lot of people cannot afford. So it's definitely something to consider and it's definitely a big con. Segregation. Your child will be surrounded by people who understand them all the time, including their friends and their teachers, everybody they interact with. Their school is designed as a nest to support them, which sounds amazing, but it also segregates them away from the realities of life and what will happen when they leave that sort of safe, warm, fuzzy environment. Specialization. Now I know I listed this as a pro, but it can also be a con. Reason being is that if you have a child that is very high functioning, they may not be challenged in a specialized school because the curriculum may not meet their needs and may not help them to reach their true potential. The same can be said of the opposite. You have to really examine your child, look at the curriculum and think, what are their capabilities? What are their limitations? How is that going to uh, interact and work well with the curriculum being offered by this private school? Deciding between public and private school was incredibly difficult for me. I actually had Shane in a public school initially and he was not doing well there. He was biting and hitting the first year of kindergarten. And I just applied to some private schools that had wait lists thinking like maybe we'll get in in a couple of years or something, but we ended up getting in right away. And it was a really tough decision. I wasn't ready to make that leap between public and private, but I did. And in the end, it was the best decision I ever made. Shane is very happy at his school. And luckily, you know, it's a school that is a private school, but in the interest of the public. So the tuition isn't as much, um, but they have a lot of amazing services that our public schools just don't have. That's how I made my decision. I looked at the services. I looked at the staff. I looked at their training and I decided that what was most important is that he was given the skills so that he could be comfortable in school rather than him being given a traditional education. I hope you found this video helpful. Please, if you did, give it a like. Thanks so much. Looking forward to posting the next one.